uh, during my time in Nairobi, I think Nairobi did, uh, realized uh, some of the biggest achievements and developments. I mean, like uh, the housing, housing projects programs, the infrastructural programs. Um, then 2017, we, uh, during the elections, I did not make it. Um, a new governor came in who was from Jubilee. But uh, when I was handing over, I told them running Nairobi was not a walk in the park. And for sure, it happened that it was not a walk in the park because uh, um, the, uh, the, that could not survive. So Nairobi had to be divided, to be run by <coughs> NMS and by the governor. And obviously the governor finally uh, got, uh, got impeached. Uh, we now have um, Sakaja as our governor, uh, the governor for Nairobi. And we wish him well and I've got every reason and confidence uh, to know and to believe that uh, he'll do well. He'll be supported by a very good um, uh, speaker, Ken Wondi, who was an MCA and was the deputy speaker uh, for Nairobi, and handled the issues of Nairobi then, where um, there were two main parties to be leading with the, uh, the, the ODM, who had only a majority of one of uh, uh, the opposition uh, then. So I believe that. Uh, Nairobi is in good hands. I decided to go to Homer Bay because I had uh, interest in ensuring that Homer Bay develops because for 10 years uh, Homer Bay have not seen uh, uh, development. Um, and we had an eight point agenda number one, health and water, number two was um, education. <coughs> Uh, number three, infrastructure. Uh, number four, um, investments and industry, uh, uh, trading, and and um, putting money into people's pockets. And we had an eight-point agenda, which uh, we were going to to uh, uh, ensure we put and develop. But uh, when the elections came. Uh, obviously, people know what happened. You know, there was violence. Fairly successful career. I mean, mm -hmm. after university, yes, sir. I worked at after the university. I worked at the University of Nairobi. Then I became a rep for Wana Lambert. Mm -hmm. uh, then I worked for Glaxo Smith Klein, rising to a point where I was managing director, looking after 26, uh, 26 African countries. I became, I was MD of the nation newspapers, mm -hmm. and um, the results we achieved um, you know, speak for themselves. I was in Mumias, um, what we did, uh, and what I did in expansions, in making Mumias a multi-product company, uh, uh, is unparalleled. I was governor of Nairobi, and I think that also speaks for itself. And um, right now, I mean, uh, I'm a normal Kenyan citizen, leading a normal life, but very, very concerned about the future of this country. You've seen what has happened in the last four years. Yes, the dollar was 90 shillings four yes, years ago. Yes, sir. Now it's 120. Yes, sir. Now it's 125. Um, the oil has become very, very expensive. Inflation is up. Yes, what we should be worrying about is the lives of our people. Whatever job you do, whether it's private or public, or public, is about adding value and making a difference in people's lives. One, you do it, uh, and uh, um, how you're judged is uh, through the growth and development of a company through profits. But in public life, is the difference you make. Like, take for example, if you interviewed Kenyans, the biggest need and the biggest requirement is in health. Yes, sir. Is health. And if you went to our hostels, we go to Ombo, you go to Homer Bay, you go to Kisumu. Um, uh, Kizi has done very, very well. Yes, sir. Uh, you find our requirements are pretty much the same. Yes, sir. Education requirements are pretty much the same. Our youth, uh, despite having, being graduates and having degrees, don't have jobs. Uh, and as leaders, is how do we grow industries so that our job our youth can have um, can have jobs. How can they be engaged? How can we get money for them to do business? And this is a universal requirement. Whether you're in Kisumu, 
whether you're in Mombasa, whether you're in Lamu. All the problems that we have as Kenyans is the same. And I'm very happy that um, uh, the president has got his thumb on the pulse of this nation. And that's why he's landed running. Starting the, uh, the, the housing, uh, housing schemes, yes, we reduce congestions in, uh, in classrooms and integrating um, uh, Nairobi's community. So it was infrastructure, it was health, it was education. Yes, Just a part of the eight point agenda which I was taking to on the uh, Let's support the government, let's support President Ruto. Are you ready to play any national role if appointed by the president, President Ruto? Uh, so long as it's going to add value and bring a make a difference to the people of Kenya. Yes, and I say that, I mean, I will work with the government of the day. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, maybe the last one. What you do uh, when, when, when you have free time? Of course, you are having a very busy public life now. You are not holding any public office. So what do you do when you have free time? I talk to Kenyans, I advise, I uh, do uh, what adds value and, uh, adds value and brings a difference, makes a difference. <laughs> yeah. mm, wa, uh, uh, supporting Raila Mono Odinga, unfortunately, he, will, he did not win. Uh, Ruto and Gashago became the president, and they are our president and deputy president. And is our call uh, that as the president uh, and deputy president, all Kenyans must join hands and support them so that we can develop as a country the, uh, all the communities in Kenya, the eight provinces, the 47 counties, uh, must work together with uh, the president and the deputy president and we must give him full support. And I'm not aware, I mean, I'm not aware where the, the governor was, but I think it was, uh, it was uh, rather sad that the governor was not there to meet the president. Uh, president Ruto is our president uh, and uh, uh, every uh, leader uh, must pull together with him so that he's able to deliver on his mandate as the president. But let me also add this, that uh, we have uh, national governments and we have county governments, and county governments must work in consultation and in cooperation with the national government. A lot of the developments have been devolved down to county government. But well, the county government cannot deliver unless it's working uh, um, in consultation and in cooperation with national government. The nation process would not have been what it is if it wasn't for him. And his, and his place uh, in history is, must be respected. He'll always be respected. But we must move forward with uh, the rest of the, Ken uh, the Kenyan people. Exit the political scene. I think the com has uh, he's played his role mm -hmm. and he'll continue to play his role yes, because sir. he's an elder statesman. Yes, and sir. I'm sure even uh, even uh, um, President Ruto said that uh, he will be engaging both him yes, and uh, President Uru Kenyatta in a special way so that they can continue playing their role as elder statement, yes, yes, yes. but we must move forward mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that we join the rest of the country yes, in developing our country. We are looking for uh, democratic leadership, we are looking for forward-looking leadership. Uh, we do not want people, we do not want to be in a situation where we just complain. You saw what uh, President Ruto did. Uh, President Ruto in UDA did um, uh, they had uh, nominations done, yes, yes, sir. but even the people who did not succeed, he yes. called all of them together yes, sir. and had a discussion with them. Yes, sir. We expected uh, as ODM people that probably uh, that's what we should have done so that we could have had a discussion, yes, sir. but that hasn't happened. And even yes. after the election, that hasn't happened. And I think there's time and there's room for that, um, that to happen. So. People were appointed, yes, sir. people protested, Wananchi yes. protested, yes, sir. Uh, but uh, as part of moving on, yes, sir. we moved on from there. I'm no longer in ODM. Um, um, I ran as an independent candidate yes, yes. and uh, going forward, I'll be looking for a home where me and the rest of the people who are not accommodated in ODM can be.
Six P said they did not need uh, non-party people yes, uh, to to support Raila. I even remember that in my billboards I had a Raila image, and I even have lawyers' letters where I was being taken to court that being an independent, I should not have uh, been supporting Raila. I think that was a mistake. So. Probably some of the things is that, uh, to a large extent, I think our problem, uh, or the problem of William then, was nomination. Yes, sir. <laughs> 700,000 people did not vote in Luanyans. Congratulate the president because he was there uh, uh, last Sunday. Yes, sir. And he was very, very aware of uh, what the, the needs are. Let's start, let's start with... Um, the building of factory uh, of industries, uh, cotton used to be a big cash crop, and uh, that fell by the wayside. And uh, last week he had a cabinet meeting, and uh, uh, one of the resolutions of the cabinet meeting was a modified um, uh, cotton um, uh, cotton plant that uh, does not suffer from diseases like the one. We, we, we they, they used to be, and I mean, I must congratulate the president for. We must congratulate him for the bold decision that uh, he led the cabinet to take on uh, the GMO, GMOs, so that we can be self-sufficient both in food production and cash cash crop production. The government is organizing that uh, all the um, devolution issues and devolution uh, mandate uh, is driven through the IBEC, uh, which. The deputy president is uh, the, uh, uh, is a, is a, is a chairman. So even the, when uh, President Uhuru was the president, a lot of uh, the things that we did was in uh, discussion with uh, our current president, who was the then deputy president uh, Ruto, who was the chairman of, uh, of uh, IBEC. So whatever national government was doing was being done through um, uh, uh, the deputy president then, who is now the current president. And I'm very happy in that because I think a lot of people are surprised that uh, the Ministry of Devolution yes, was uh, done... Um, uh, there was no minister named as the Minister for Devolution. Uh, but people must remember that um, the... Uh, uh, all counties get their budget, and once they've gotten their budget, uh, they work through the assembly.